Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be learning how to image map using Adobe Dreamweaver. Now some of you guys might be wondering what image mapping is. Image mapping is basically the process of taking any image and making certain parts of that image clickable. So you can add links to any part of the image and when someone clicks on it, it will take them to that link or to your website or to anything that you want. And this comes in handy especially if you're a YouTube partner because YouTube partners have the ability to add a banner. And you could add uh, an image map to your banner and make it clickable and add your different links inside of your banner. For example, I have this banner right here that I'm using on my YouTube channel. It says octotoots.com and it has a bunch of links on the right side. So if we head over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash octotoots, you could actually use these links. Here's my banner. And we have website, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe, contact, and all of these different videos that you guys could watch. So let's click on website. And octotoots.com opens up. Let's click on Twitter. Twitter.com slash octosites opens up. And so on and so on. You guys get the idea. So with that being said, let's open up Dreamweaver and let's get started. So in Dreamweaver, we'll click on File New and we'll make a new HTML page. Press Create. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on File save as and I'm going to save this to my desktop as index.html and then I'm going to add the image so let's go to insert image and I'm going to double click on that banner image and press ok so now we have this image inside of our website keep in mind that I'm doing this in a blank HTML page but you could add this image anywhere that you want anywhere that you could use HTML so now that we have the image make sure to have it selected and you have these image properties down here if you don't see this, click on Window and click on Properties. So once you have the properties open, you can mess with a bunch of settings. You could add a link to the overall image, the whole image. You could have a border. You could align it to a different side. You could change the width and the height. You could do a bunch of things. But what we want to focus on is the image mapping section. So right here on the bottom left-hand corner is the image mapping. So the first thing you want to do is select the Rectangular Hotspot tool. Now you could choose the circular hotspot tool or the polygon hotspot tool. Uh, this is just depending on what type of shape you want to make clickable in your image. Now I'm going to choose a square, the rectangular hotspot tool, and I'm just going to get started with the website. So just select that entire thing and press OK. Now I'm going to add a link of http colon slash slash octotoots.com. Now for the target, don't type anything if you want it to open up in the same page. But if you want it to open up in a new tab, click right here in this arrow and select blank. And then Alt, just, uh, just type something to describe it. I'll just type website. And there you go. Now I could continue doing this for Twitter, Facebook, etc. Uh, I'm just going to do it one more for Twitter. And then we'll take a look at the image map. So link. Oops. HTTP colon slash slash twitter.com slash octosites. And target, we'll change this to blank and we'll have it an alt of Twitter. So that looks good. So now what, we, what we're going to do is click File, Save, and then we're going to go to File, Preview in Browser, Safari, and we're going to take a look at this. So now if I hover over a website, you see my mouse pointer changes. And if I click on it, it'll go to octotoots.com. And if I click on Twitter, it'll go to twitter.com slash octosites. And if I click anywhere else in the image, nothing happens. So that's the beauty of image mapping. So that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new today. This is a very cool thing that you could use, and it comes in handy a lot. This is Octotoots.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.